Hi, I'm Tatiana. I'm the Imperfect Minimalist, and today I'm going to show you how I set up my diaper system. I do cloth diapers and disposable diapers. And today I'm gonna to show you how to change a cloth diaper and also how to wash them, organize them, and set up a little system for yourself at home. If it inspires you to do the same, awesome. Take what you need, leave what you don't. It's all good. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so this is my little setup right next to my bedside and this is my extra diaper bag. So this is where I keep the extras right here. And then these are my waters by my bedside. And I have the reusables right here and the disposables right here. And then I keep a garbage can right here. And then I also have another cooler right here. This has the dirty reusables. Okay, let's get into the rest of the system. The extra diaper bag. So what I'm gonna keep in here is all extras of anything that I could fill up the bin with. Okay, now this is for the disposable diaper system. And the zipper just opens just like this. And then I have the diapers in here. Um, I only use like one to three a night and then the rest during the day I'm using the reusables and then I have some wipes in here and then I have some diaper rash cream and some hand sanitizer and um, desitin is for diaper rash. So I basically keep this system here for the nights and I keep it also when we go out um, like on a trip or to someone's house. I do not do the cloth diapering system. I just use the disposables. So I haven't advanced to that level yet and I can keep also an extra outfit in here. Sometimes your baby will have a blowout and it'll go all over their clothes. Huh baby? Okay. Now if you're taking the diapers to get washed, just go ahead and put in any wipes that you have um, because you're going to be using bleach so you might as well take advantage and put everything in that uh, needs to be laundered. So here we go. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> put everything into the laundry and you can just basically dump it all in there. Okay, so this is about a medium level. So I'm gonna put this on medium. I'm gonna put this on hot. I'm gonna put the signal on no extra rinse. I don't need an extra rinse. And I'm gonna do it on the normal on a super wash or heavy and then get that started so this laundry stuff i use is a free and clear there's no um perfumes or dyes or anything like that and then basically i'm going to keep half of this container right here and then i use the water to dilute the detergent that's why I like having these older washers. The newer ones, you can't do that. And then what you're gonna do is put some baking soda in there. I'm gonna put about this much of baking soda in there. So it's almost like a full one of these if you wanna measure it. I just measure it by just looking at it. And then I'm gonna use, up here, I'm gonna use bleach. Okay, so not as eco-friendly as I would have liked, but hey, it gets it white. And then there's a chlorine bleach part here you can just put. So just to show you what we've got here, we've got a medium load all set. All right, 
Now I have my clean load of laundry. I just throw it on the bed and then I'm gonna start folding. So I fold all of the cloths like this and the trifolds like this and the um, diapers like this. And then I'll fold it once more at the end so I'll show you. And the reason I fold them it's just so it's easier when I organize it in the cooler to grab it when I need it. This towel definitely saved me the other day. As I was changing his diaper, he started pooping when I took the diaper off. So it went luckily all into the towel and now you can see it's completely white because I used that bleach, you know? I used to be so against bleach because it is pretty toxic. It's bad for your lungs, but it really gets all the stains out. Um, and I've tried so many other different natural methods and I haven't found one to work as well as bleach. But if you know of an alternative that you love and you've tried many times and please comment down below. I would love to know. Um, I'm considering using the what is it called? It's like a powder, also borax, that's what it is. Um, so I just need to get some borax at the store. They didn't have any at my local grocery store, so. So this is a charcoal liner, and I just throw it in with the rest of the whites. So as you can see, it's got a lot of different white strands of cotton in it. Um, but I don't care. He's just going to put it in his diaper, so it's fine. So now we pretty much have an empty cooler. I'll get into how I organize it. So with the cloth, and then I'll put it into the cooler. With the inserts, I fold them into three. So one, two, three, and then I'll put it into the cooler. With the diapers, I um, keep the buttons on the inside and then I fold once to the, so this is on the outside and then I'll fold it once again so it stays about this size. All right, here is the trifold and I will fold it once like this and then once again like this and then I will put it into there. So basically, I'm gonna be stacking these up until it's completely full. I can fit about seven in this size cooler. And I have several different kinds. I'm using different brands to see what I like. Um, so far, these ones are my favorite. Here it is, Bum Genius. This is my favorite brand. Okay, so then you wanna grab a reusable cloth and this is going to be your wipe. And put it in water, on warm. If you have warm water, that'd be great. If not, you can heat up some water in a pan. Or what you can do is, you can also go like this and then put it in the microwave. But make sure it's like only 20 seconds in the microwave and then kind of go like this so that it's not too hot. Uh, so this is kind of, this is pretty hot water, so I'm going to just make sure all of it's wet and then I'll wring it out and then keep it like that. And then what I want to do is like fold it into four so that I can wipe and then switch it and then wipe again. When I'm changing the baby, I change the baby on the bed. I don't use a changing table. We are minimalists, we travel, so we can't carry a changing table everywhere. But what we can carry are cloths. So I use these this way if 
anything gets dirty, it goes onto the cloth, not the bed. And then I start to change the baby. This is a burnt cloth if I need it in case he spits up. And we have him on the cloth right here. We have a toy if he needs it, the company. And if your baby likes pacifiers, you can also keep a pacifier just to soothe him in case he starts crying. And then so basically you want to lift up the suit as much as possible so that you don't get it dirty. And then you can undo the snaps. So all of these snaps are adjusted to his size. I always take the socks off because when he's kicking around, he can, if he pooped, he can kick around in the poop. So it's harder to clean it off of socks than bare feet. Okay, so now I have my cloth and what I'm gonna do is just put it on the burp cloth right now. And I'm going to take off the diaper and put it down. And if you have a boy, you just have to make sure that he's not peeking at you. Uh-oh, he spit up, so you see, you can just wipe him off right away. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put this down to clean him. So usually the shell stays dry, but sometimes it'll get poopy or peed on, and then you can't reuse it. This one, um, I feel like it's a little damp, so I'm gonna use a new one. This one is, is wet, he peed, and this one is a little damp. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw the whole set inside the, the other cooler where his dirty diapers are. Okay, so I keep my dirty diaper cooler right down here and I'm just gonna put it in there and put a top on it. All right, now we're gonna use that cloth that's warm and we're gonna go ahead and start from the top Go to the sides, go around, and then on the bottom. So now you've used two sides. Now you can use this side to wipe off. Sometimes it gets on his back, on his cheeks, and just do that for the legs and the feet, like that. And then you can also flip it over again and do it again, just to get off any excess dirt that's on there. Okay, now he's nice and clean, and usually with a pee, it's not too bad. Okay, now with the diaper, I'm gonna give you a close up on how I set this up. So with the diaper, uh, you first wanna put the reusable right here and just open it. Then you're gonna use the insert. Usually people put the insert in here. I think that's just a waste of time. I just put it over just like that and I try and match it up with the back. Then I use the trifold. They call it trifold because you can also, you know, fold it like that, put it like that. But I don't do that. I just put it in just like that. And then I'm ready with my diaper and I'll put it underneath him and then snap him into place. Okay. Now we're ready to put the diaper underneath him like this. And then you, to prevent a rash, you can use uh, coconut oil. You can use any kind of coconut oil. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's 100% coconut oil. And I get this from the dollar store, so it doesn't have to be expensive oil. This is a reusable jar that I use. It has cornstarch in it. You can buy cornstarch in bulk and then just put it in your jar. I also bought this on Amazon. It's called Baby Ointment. It's pretty good if you don't want to deal with the oiliness or the powder going anywhere, then you can use an ointment and this one is pretty good. It's got, um, it does have coconut oil olive oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, sunflower wax, and vitamin E. This one, you can find it on Amazon. I'll leave it in the description box below. So we're gonna put the trifold up. We're gonna put the insert up. And then we're gonna put the uh, shell over and slide it. So I'm gonna close up this part because this is the important part. 
So when you're at this point, you kind of want to match the trifold right here. And then the shell, you want to put it so that it's pretty tight around this part. You see how I did that? Then this part sticks out. You can just tuck it in right there. Then the back part, you just want to pull up. Okay, so I'm going to do that on the other side. And I want to get it pretty tight, but not too tight. I just want it enough so it's snug. It gives them a little room right here. And I'm going to turn him and tuck in that side. So now he's tucked in on all sides and he's got his diaper ready to go. And then you can go ahead and put his clothes on. We're all done, yay! Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel by tapping the subscribe button and hit the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Oh, he's got some hiccup burps. Those are fun. All right, that's it. That's how I cloth diaper. You know, if you're a mom and you're just trying this out, you're gonna wanna have some disposables on hand until you can adjust yourself to a system. This system took me two months to get used to. So don't feel bad if you're, you know, destroying the planet. I know it's horrible. It makes me feel bad too. You get eco-anxiety, but um, just be easy on yourself and know that every diaper that you save from going into the landfill truly makes a difference. And if you can share your experience with other people, good for you for giving it a shot. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.